Allahumma fir rafiq al-a'la. O oh Allah, I ask you to grant me a rafiq al-a'la. What that means, we will get to that straight away. But what is more important is to know that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said this with his last breath. Aisha radiallahu anha said that her brother entered into the room with a siwak and she said, I saw the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam looking at that miswak or siwak. So I took it from my brother and then I, I gave it to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and then he used the siwak and then he pointed with his finger to the sky and he said, Allahumma fir rafiq al-a'la. Oh Allah, I ask you for the rafiq al-a'la and then he died in my arms. One would expect a prophet to die on a battlefield. One would expect a prophet to die in sujood. But the Prophet وسلم, died in the arms of his wife. If this is not a statement of the importance of women in Islam, if this is not a statement of how important marital life is in Islam, if this is not a statement that one can leave this life in the arms of his or her partner while making a supplication, then there is no other statement. The Messenger وسلم, taught us that no matter how spiritual you are, no matter how close you are to death, nothing is better than being good to your wife and nothing is better than being good to your husband. And this is why Aisha radiallahu anha used to boast and say, the Messenger of God died in my arms. So a Rafiq al-A'la, it is actually begging Allah to be in the highest degree of paradise, not because he merely wanted rivers of gold and silver or milk and honey, he rather wanted the highest degree of paradise, because that is where you are allowed to look at Allah much more than people in lower levels. Some people, they want paradise to enjoy therein. Some people want paradise to look therein at their Lord. The people who worship Allah to get paradise have turned Allah into the means to a goal. Their means is worship and paradise is their goal. But some people have turned paradise into a means and Allah into their goal. When they think of paradise, they think of, I want to be close to Allah. I want to look at Allah. So now, knowing this, remember when you are on your deathbed, my friend, that there is a thing you can say and a thing you can do. Hold on tight to your wife or your husband, knowing that you will not see them again until the Day of Judgment. But at the same time, don't forget to beg, to ask from Allah Jalla wa'ala, the most beautiful thing He can grant you, which is being close to Him in Paradise. And this is where we once again say, Allahumma fi rafiq al-a'la. Oh Allah, I ask you for the rafiq al-a'la.